Hey there, this is Jaron Alexa from ProSite Tutorials, and in this video I'm going to do a Hostgator review and I'm going to explain all of the details of their servers so you can more easily decide if this is the right web host provider for you. So let's get started. So I'm going to talk about the five aspects that are important for you to know before you decide if we'll host together is really for you. The first one is how reliable are their web servers. If you don't know what a server is, you can see on this image on the screen, this is a server room and when you start using us together, most likely you will use their sharing plan. That means that your website will be stored in one of these servers with several other websites at the same time. When you have a website, it's really important for your website to be online as much as possible because you don't want your visitors to go to your website and it's offline that means that you will lose money you, people won't buy your product service and they won't be able to read your content so that's something that you really want to avoid so let's get to this website called hostbenchmarker.com this is a website that analyzes several web host providers and sees how reliable are their web servers and you can see on this information over here, this is about three months of information. You can see that they have nearly every single day 100%. They have a few few days where they had a, a bit downtime. For example, this one where their, their servers was down for five minutes. Not a huge deal. It's not something like a, a whole day where your website is offline. And that's the kind of thing that you really want to avoid. Because many times you might uh, go to another web host provider because they are a bit cheaper. But then your website is down for a whole day. And that's really bad and something that you certainly want to avoid. I've been using their, their service for about three years. And I can tell you that I don't remember a time that my website has been down. So this is their uptime. So now let's talk about the second aspect that is important, which is uploading time. If you don't know what uploading time is, it's basically the amount of time that one of your web pages inside of your website takes to upload on someone's computer or mobile screen. And especially now in this, that more and more people are using mobiles. People don't have much patience. They are on the go. If, and if they go to your website and it takes like four to five seconds to upload, they most likely will leave your website and never come back again. And this has a lot to do with the web host provider that you are using and the connection that they have to the internet. If they have a fast connection to the internet, then your website will take less time to upload on someone's computer or mobile screen. So I went to this website called pingdom.com. This is a website where I can test the speed of a website that I have. As you can see, this is the website which I tested. And it tests, it tests the uploading time of my, in this case, my front page. And you can see that it took nearly two seconds to upload the front page of my website, which is pretty quick. And it's important to notice that this website is installed on one of the, the servers belonging to Hostgator. So now let's talk about the third crucial aspect, which is customer support, because like it or not, eventually you will run into problems with your website and you will need someone to help you out. So when it comes to host together customer support, you can click on this small icon. Typically I like to use the live chat, but you can also call them if you prefer. And in this case, I'm just going to show to you the live chat. Once you click on live chat, this window pops out, you put your name, and you can say that you have already an account with them, which I have. Prosite Tutorials, which is the, the primary domain name. Uh, then I choose Shared, press Continue. And then I select what exactly is my issue, what exactly I want to talk with them about. Technical support, and let's say email. Then I just press Start Chat. And you can see this, this window pops out. And you may want to click on one of these links so you can get more information about a specific issue that you might have before you jump to the to the live chat. Then you just click on this button. You put your 
email address over here so you can log in and you can see that in nine minutes I will have someone ready to help me out and when it comes to their customer support I had cases in the past where I messed up the coding of my website once I uploaded my website I only saw a blank page and I ran to to the customer support of Hostgator and they helped me solve my issue so that's the kind of customer support that you want to have so now let's talk about Hostgator cPanel this is their cPanel as you may see it has a clean look it's easy to find the options that you need and I know that initially if you are starting out it may seem a bit confusing for you to see so many different icons but later on once you start using their cPanel you will see that you probably will only use four to five of these options on a regular basis so I'm just going to explain a few of them the ones that I actually use regularly such as for example if you are starting out this option is pretty useful video tutorials you can click on it and you are taken to another page where you have several links and you can click on one of them so you can see a video related to this specific topic if you want to create one or more emails for a specific website you can use this option email accounts for that uh, also you can if you want to quickly install WordPress you can click on this option you're redirected to the marketplace and in the marketplace you can click on install WordPress and just in a matter of a few seconds you can install WordPress on your website and start developing your website using WordPress so this is another useful option you also have file manager which basically lets you manage the files that you have installed in one or several of your websites then you can also create subdomain names which is pretty useful you can add new domain names using this option and also make redirections which is something that is quite useful later on with your websites uh, you also have the MyScale database which is another option that is pretty useful and these are the the few options that I typically use on a regular basis and most likely also you will later on use in a regular basis for you so that is the cPanel from Hostgator so now let's talk about the pricing and also the three different plans that Hostgator has you can get Hostgator for just $3.95 per month and you can do that by clicking on this button that says get started now once you do that you can see that below you have three different plans that you can choose from I'm going to give you a brief explanation of each one of them so you can have a better idea so you have first the hashing plan which is the one that you can get for $3.95 per month and it comes with most of the features that you need so you can have a website on the internet now the problem about this plan is that you can only have one website using this plan so if later on you want to have another website you actually need to upgrade to another plan and that's why I recommend for you to use the baby plan because with the baby plan you still get all of the necessary features but still you can have multiple websites at once using just this plan so that's why I recommend the baby plan then lastly you have the business plan and this is really up to you if you want to get a few extra features such as private SSL and IP and also free VoIP phone service so I'm going to sign up with this baby plan so you can see how you can register an account with Hostgator so the first thing that you need to choose is a domain name or the name for your website so let's choose Procytorials I typically like to go with the .com but also you can choose from the .com, the .net or a .org these are the three most common extensions on the internet let's go with the .net you can see that it's available and you can see from this listing the domain names which are no longer available such as prosaitorials.com and also prosaitorials.org this is the the website that I have at the moment so it's not available then below you need to choose the the package which is the baby one and also the billing cycle typically the longer you have your billing cycle the bigger will be the discount that you will get so you can go with 
two years or three years it's really up to you let's just put three years over here then you need to choose a username so let's say Jordan Alexo and also a security pin with four to eight digits then you just need to fill the common fields for your billing information so you just need to fill all of this information then you have a few additional services to choose from and it really depends on the type of website that you want to build so if you want to build a WordPress website and if you want to learn actually how you can do that you can click on the link that you can see on the video screen so you can watch my other video where I explain this step by step and if you have a WordPress website a little on I only recommend for you to have this first service this is the only one that I find useful protect your site from hackers because this is something that is quite useful and the other features are quite it's not they are really not that important because with WordPress you can install plugins which will basically do the backup of your website and so on then you have this coupon and once you go below you can see the final pricing that you need to pay and then you can may read the terms of service uh, cancellation policy and privacy policy and just press check just check this box and then just check out now so you can get an account with Hostgator so that is all about this video about Hostgator I hope you enjoyed my review and now that you you have a good understanding if Hostgator is right for you I hope it is so that is all for this video please subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress about internet marketing how to make money online and much more so stay there stay tuned with ProSatorials and bye I said a